Okay, so next we're going to um, prep the wire for the Z end stop. So we're just going to take some Ethernet cable. This is just a Cat5 e, just some old scrap cable. And it's the multi strand stuff, so it's a really flexible one. So make sure you're using a multi strand, and you'll see later on why. You don't want the one that's stiff. So just grab a blade, and we're just going to slice open the end so we can get the wires out. So just probably just a couple of inches, just put a slice down there. A bit deeper. tear it out. Okay so we stripped our wire out of our network cable um, and we're going to now fit the end stop onto the Y end stop bracket. So we've got our little um, micro switch, a couple of screws, M3 by about 12 mil long. So it needs to go through the through the micro switch and then obviously tap into the plastic. So we'll mount that first. solder some wires to it. The orientation doesn't matter and the pins that we're going to be using are this, this, this outside, sorry this pin here and this pin here. We're not going to worry about the center pin. Let's unwind your wire. Use, um, you can use a cable stripper or, or just a pair of side cutters. Strip a bit of wire off. Sorry a bit of insulation. And just make sure that your wire is actually multi-stranded, so it should have multiple strands here. If it's solid core, um, you can use it, but you can't use it on any position on the printer that um, the wire is bending, where it's moving. It's only good for stationary. So, stranded for moving and solid for stationary. So heat up the soldering iron. We'll just tin our wires first, so just clamp it. Might as well clamp that as well. So just tin your wires, it makes it easier to solder, to put it on. And orientation doesn't matter. And I like I usually have the wires coming straight out, not not underneath, because it's gonna the bed bed is here, so you can, obviously can't put the wire that way. So put the wire coming out at right angles. that's ready to mount on the printer. There's one uh, step I forgot before we mount it. These, these holes are a little bit closed up for the screws, these slotted holes. So I'm just going to clear it out with a 3.2mm drill bit. Just ream it out. So I'll just try and hold it so you can see it. to mount the micro switch, the um, Y axis end stop. So grab our two screws, M3 by probably 20, 25 and I might actually grab a washer for those. So just grab some M3 washers and there's already some holes um, drilled, should be some holes already on your board um, from the template and the holes, you don't need to drill them out because I think we used a 2 mil drill bit which is pretty close to what we need. And don't worry about the position yet so don't have to make it too tight. So we'll, be re we'll be adjusting it later when we do the calibration. Just 
make sure that it can come back freely and hit that. That's, that's pretty much the way we want it. So that's that step done.